Hi. Hi, happy Monday, everyone. I'm a little bit late today, so I apologize for that. Um, all right, so today we're going to be talking about um, if you want to book more work or if you want to book better work in 2024. So I'm seeing a lot of actors starting the year and starting to send questions about really like looking back at 2023, looking at what worked, what didn't work, what type of jobs did you book? Did you book enough work? Did you book enough work, but it's not the kind of work you want? So whether you're wanting more, that's one thing, but I want you to know that even the people who are booking a lot very often come to us and they're like, I am working a lot, but that's not the kind of jobs that I want. So we'll address both questions today, whether you wanna book more or work or whether you want to book different work and so you may have tried the previous years to be like more determined or more committed to your acting class your acting studio or more committed to doing the the industry parts the business parts to having some hard and difficult conversations with your agent or trying to fight yourself to find more auditions or better auditions or working really hard on your tapes, working really hard on yourself. Maybe you're reading more books about acting. Maybe you're trying to work with different teachers or better teachers or more recommendable teachers. Maybe you're doing more casting director workshops. Maybe you're sending more material. Maybe you're doing all of the things that you think would give you more work as an actor or different work as an actor. And if you've done that and you're realizing, oh shoot, nothing's changed. I'm still not booking the types of jobs that I want, the type of roles that I want. I'm not booking enough. Then I want to have a conversation with you because what's happening is if, if you're doing all of the external things, if you're doing the agent, the real, the headshot, the casting directors, if you're doing all of those things and you're putting more and more work in those things, <clears throat> more work in who you study with, more work in your real, all of those parts are external to who you are and usually they won't work because they're missing the one most important piece, which is you. So if you've done all those things for years and you're seeing that no matter what you try, it's not working and it's not giving you more work or the type of work that you want, it's because you're missing the main and most important key ingredient. And that ingredient is you. And that's why we focus all of our work on you. And that's why we can guarantee that people will book their next level job because we first spend time on making sure that you have access to your instrument. Your instrument means what you're playing with. So just before I was in a training session, <clears throat> actually a Q&A &A, uh, &A session, with an actress and we did an exercise and she was really moved and saying, oh my God, I'm, I'm realizing that I've been playing and, and, and auditioning and fighting for these roles with this part of myself. And there's a whole pie that represents you. Your whole instrument is a whole big, incredible and actually limitless self. And when you're acting just from that part, it means you have very little bandwidth, very little battery, very little material for you to fight with. And if you're showing up at auditions, at your agent meetings, at any casting director workshops, any meeting with any director, and you're only accessing that part of your instrument, that means you're not really present. You're present this much when you can be present the entire pie. So that's why the first step we do with actors is we make sure that you are reset to be your full, free, authentic self, that you can show up anywhere in any audition, any tape, any meeting, and that you are a hundred percent your alive self, not 10% with 20% of a mask and then 45% of a coping mechanism. Like, we want you to be truly, fundamentally, uniquely, 100% you, no matter what that looks like. If you don't have access to your entire instrument and you only have access to a little piece of the pie, you cannot, you cannot get the roles you want and you cannot be fulfilled and you cannot impact the audience, which is the ultimate goal 
is that you're embodying a character, fighting their story, and that in turn moves and touches the audience who gets to go back at their house and have their life enhanced because of your performance. You're showing up with this. This is what the character has access to. This is what your fulfillment has access to. This is what the audience has access to. This is what the story has access to. This is not you. You are a whole, complete, incredible, powerful, instinctive, authentic, and free human being. You are not this. And most actors I meet, no matter the level that you're at, are trying to run their career and their fulfillment and their finances and their characters and everything they do with this. And I love this graphic representation that this actress I was just working with was showing me. You want to have the access to the whole entire you, your soul, your heart, your energy, your emotions, everything that makes you you, your opinions, what you mean, your purpose. So first thing we do is we reset you so that you're capable to feel what you actually feel. Because let's not forget, you have been trained, you have been conditioned in order to not feel. You've been told over and over and over again since you were little, don't get angry, don't get sad, don't get scared, don't get too loud and excited when you're happy. You have not been encouraged to have opinions. You've been told to shut up, to sit down, to listen, and to do what you're told. So in the reset, we help actors reset, restore their capacity to actually feel for yourself, not to feel for what's right, not to feel for what will please others, not to please to be validated and, and not punished and be right, but to actually feel your truth freely. When you reset, then we start digging deep into your purpose, into your soul, into what are you here for? What are you bringing your characters? And so we take all of that freed up instrument and we start putting it into building your characters from a place of soul. Again, not from a place of what did the author want, what's right, what does the casting director want, but what do I want? And until you have access again to what you mean, to what you're about, to what your soul is about, to what your purpose is on this planet, you will not be able to give that. And again, that's another part of your instrument. If you don't have access to your roots, to what you're here for, your purpose and your soul, you cannot give it. So what are you going to give? What you think they expect what you think the casting director like, what you think they will validate, what you think they love, what you think is better than others. That is all non-artistic material. That's ego. And you have so much more to offer than your ego. You have so much more. It's limitless. Your truth, your authenticity is a gazillion times more interesting than what your ego can come up with, which is just coping mechanism and looking good. So, once we do that, then we can look at, okay, so how do you connect with the industry in a way that's artistic for you, meaningful for you, authentic for you, so that it's pleasant and so that it touches someone's heart when you do the business side of things. And that's why we can guarantee the work that we do with actors. So if this makes any sense, if this um, touches something in you, if you're determined in 2024, to actually book your next level type of roles, then get in touch with us. You can drop us the, um, you can drop us, I forgot what you need to drop us, but if you send us a DM and tell us you want more information, then we can get in touch with you. We can even get on a call with you and look at whether we're the right fit to work together and whether we can guarantee you your next level job. All right. Well, thank you very much. It was lovely to connect with you. And I hope you have some big, fat, juicy goals for 2024 and that we can help you reach them. All right. Bye.